In this video I'm going to show you how to master a song properly in FL Studio using only stock plugins, the ones that come with FL Studio. For the video I'm going to use my Anima template. This is the stock plugins version where I only used FO Studio stock plugins, not an external one. And if you want it, down below in the description, you have the link to get this template, learn more about the mastering, learn more about how to make this genre and more about production in general. I'm going to go to the third part of the drop where it is more melodic, it has more changes in the baseline and it has more sounds, so it sounds fuller, so it can have more problems. When I master a song, I always like to start with an EQ and FO Studio EQ, the best one is the EQ2, the disc parametric. Here you can do several things, you can go and look for resonance like this and remove the re those resonance. You go like this, look for resonance. This is not a resonance, it is just a loud frequency. A resonance, what it's gonna do is sound extremely loud and it's gonna eat the other frequencies. Like you're only gonna hear that and the volume of the rest is gonna get reduced. In this case, there are not really resonance, so I'm just gonna do a normal EQ. What we can do, first we can have a low cut or maybe instead of low cut, we can have a low shelf. I made this video where I show you what's better, if a low cut or a low shelf and where to use what, you know. In this case, I'm just gonna use a low shelf on 20 hertz like this, minus 10, 15 dB, something like this. So we remove all the rumble low end that we don't need and we don't want. Then something that sometimes can work well is to boost here to have a bit more punch and a bit more low end. In this particular case, it's not really needed, but I'm just gonna show you what I would do this way in case you need it. I would do a bit more narrow one and look for the, the really bottom end. Be around here and boost it a little bit. Don't go too crazy, okay? In mastering, you don't want to boost five dBs. Just one, half dB, one dB and a half. And then to give a bit extra presence to the song, it's good to boost around 2000 and 4000 Hertz. I like to have a bit wider band. Look where is the really present sound. Around here, of course, this is way too much. Just a little bit, one dB or so. the melody has more presence, so it's good. And with this, I wouldn't really do more EQ like this EQ. When I'm doing a normal mastering where I use external plugins, usually I use an EQ that I can use mid-side EQ. Or I use those on Imager to work with the mid-side, you know, to make things wider or more narrow. But FO Studio Parametric EQ 2 doesn't have a mid-side option. But here's where Patcher comes in. If you open Patcher, we see this. And maybe you don't really understand what the hell is going on here because there's nothing anywhere. Okay, but let's click here on presets. Boom, you have all of these presets. And if you pay attention here, oh, mid-side EQ. Click here and boom, now we have this. As you can see here it says mid and the, here it says side. So whatever we do here is gonna be in the mid. Just pay attention. It's boosting only, only in the center. And here, is boosting only on the sides. So what we can do is do a low cut in the side so we make sure everything below 100 hertz or so is mono. Also what we can do is try to make the song a bit wider if it's needed and in this particular case I want to boost a bit the highs in the side part. And sometimes it's also good to boost a bit around here to make this area, the warm area, will be around here a little bit wider, a little bit, 1 dB or so. Then, in the mid, what we want to do is, for example, sometimes this area is a bit muddy, so we can check if it's muddy or not and reduce a little bit. Around here, it can be a little bit muddy, or just check if you reduce it what happens. It sounds a little bit cleaner. And also what we can do to have it more strength, especially in the center, we can do the boost we did before, do it right here only in the mids. 
So thanks to Patreon, now we can do mid-side EQ and we can control better the stereo imaging of the song. Now something I like to do a lot to get a bit stronger sound is to use Exciter. Use a saturation plugin. So we add some harmonics and it sounds a bit richer. We have more frequency, it sounds fuller, richer and better. FO Studio doesn't really have a multiband saturation plugin that really sounds clean and really have a lot of control. But again, patcher comes in. In this case, I'm going to go here and choose the 4x distortion. Here we're going to have three bands, low, mid and high band, and also the master. You have different types of distortion. My advice to check which one is better, it just distorts a lot and change it. For example, let's go to the mids. I'm going to increase it and now change this. I think the most natural is the one. And what we can do here is boost a little bit in different areas. For example, here the mids is where I usually saturate the most, but it's too on the low mid. I want it more on the mid, mid highs. So maybe you can try to touch these things. This sounds a bit cleaner now. I can also distort a bit the highs. And now I don't want that much. I think I'm losing a bit of warmth, much highs maybe. Maybe you can lose a bit the pause gain. Maybe lose a bit this, not that much. And to be honest, last but not least, what we need is a limiter. But probably you're thinking on FO Studio limiter. I don't recommend you this one. Okay, FL Studio Limiter, the problem is that if you try to make the song really loud, it's gonna start uh, like creating a pumping effect. So again, I'm gonna use Patcher. In this case here, we have the 1K hard clip. It's the one I like the most. Here, basically, you're gonna increase this and it's gonna clip it. Okay, this is way too much, but just go and try to clip until it distorts and then come back a little bit. Here it distorts, come back. So around here is good. The only problem that this has is that it doesn't have a limit at 0 dB. You don't really know if it's crossing or not the 0 dB. So if we use a dB meter, we can see it's not at 0 dB yet. So what we can do is increase the out a little bit. But now we are above the 0, so we need to come back a little bit. But now, are we above or are we zero? What, what, where are we? So here is where I'm going to use the free T-limiter to, to just make sure it doesn't cross the zero dB. As you can see, it feels like it was a little bit, up, a little bit above zero dB. So now we make sure we never cross that line. And now maybe you're thinking if this is a professional mastering or not. What you need to think is if it sounds good or not. And if it sounds good, that's good. It doesn't matter if you use Parametric Good 2 or the Fab Filter. It doesn't matter if you use Fab Filter Saturn or Ozone Exciter or this saturation we use here. It doesn't matter if you use a professional clipper or this clipper from Patcher. It doesn't matter at all. If it sounds good, it's good. But as this mastering, what's also really important is if it's loud enough or not. So now I'm going to use Julian. It's a free plugin, okay? It's not from FL Studio, but just to check it, I'm going to check the loudness, okay? We're going to check here. It's around minus 7.5, kind of. For melodic techno, it's not bad. Usually some songs are around there, but if you want to make it louder, you can do these things. First, usually having too much bass makes it easier to distort. So if you are distorting, maybe what you can do is, instead of having the bass like this, maybe remove this, so you have a bit more headroom on the on the low end to not distort. If you still have it, maybe you can reduce a bit if you think you have space to reduce the bass. Maybe your bass is way too loud. Another thing you can do is try to boost or saturate more on the mid highs. If you increase this area or you make this area more present, the perceived loudness, which is the LUFS, is going to be higher or the value is going to be smaller. Instead of minus 7, it's going to be minus 6. It means louder. Or just you can try to clip it a bit more and see if it doesn't distort. Here it distorts. Here it doesn't distort. Let's check it now. We reach a bit higher value. That's good. So well, nothing else. This is how you can master using only FL Studio stock plugins. And remember, if you want to get this template down below in the description, you have the link. Go and get it.